fatigue is a common symptom for many things, especially when you're talking about difficult to diagnose autoimmune disorders like myasthenia gravis. The disorder is more common in women under 40 as they work to discover why they say living with myasthenia gravis is better than before. Arms up like that for me. We're going to push them down a couple times and see if you develop any weakness. Shirley Terrell has spent a lot of time with doctors over the last 17 years. She was diagnosed in 1997 with myasthenia gravis. When I first start having the symptoms, it's, it's like having something wrong and you don't know. And Not knowing was scary, even though it was a long time ago, the Baltimore grandmother says getting the news she had myasthenia gravis was alarming. Many doctors like neurologist Bonnie Garrick with Mercy Medical Center say it's common for people to react that way. It's a neuromuscular disorder in which patients develop um, weakness in the skeletal muscles, the voluntary muscles of their body. The term myasthenia gravis comes from Greek and Latin from gravis being severe and myasthenia is muscle weakness. And you know, this is sort of a misnomer these days because that term was coined when there were not good treatments for the condition. Dr. Garrick says now there are. Now with good treatment, most patients are asymptomatic, have normal lifestyle and a normal life expectancy. Look over here. Good. No double vision. It looks a Shirley wanted to see Dr. Garrick because her eye is bothering her. It's a common symptom. It can easily be helped through medication. Shirley says most days she doesn't even think about having myasthenia gravis. I don't want to think about the negative because there's so much positiveness in it. You know, I'm doing great with it now. And Dr. Garrick is glad patients like Shirley will open up about it so more people can know it's manageable.